my name is Adam. Welcome to Passport's Video Resource Library and our presentation on avoiding taxpayer identification number errors. For clarity and for our purposes, a TIN is the same as a social security number. 2015 brought many challenges to Affordable Care Act filers, but the most common was the dreaded Air TN500. These TIN mismatches occur when an employee's name or social security number did not match the information in the IRS database and can also affect other forms like the 1099, W-2, or 941 for payroll. Today, I'll show you how to prevent these errors by taking advantage of the IRS's free TIN matching service. We'll start at the eServices homepage. Create or log in to your IRS eServices account. If you are an electronic ACA filer, you should already have one. Select Application, New TIN Matching Application, enter your PIN, and accept the terms of service. Fill out the TIN matching application. The approval process can take several days. Once approved and logged into the eServices site, you will be able to select the TIN matching option. Accept the terms and proceed to an interactive TIN session or bulk TIN session. If you choose the interactive TIN session, you can narrow down the search to social security numbers, type the number, and enter the last name. Click add and then enter another individual doing this up to 25 times. Choose Submit when you are ready to view the results. You'll receive an instant result code which you can check against the list above. Here, code 3 means that the TIN and name combination is not a match. Code 0 means that the name and numbers do match. I'll click Done and we can take a look at the bulk TIN session. The IRS specifies that you can submit up to 100,000 entries per text file. Passport Payroll creates this completely ready to upload file type from our employee by name report. This is what the output file looks like, though we've masked even the fake social security numbers here. The site is very easy to use. Just browse to the location where you saved the file on your computer or network. Select it and you're ready to submit. You have the option to send a notification email to an alternate address, but if you leave it blank, the notification will automatically go to the email associated with your eServices account. After a few hours, you can check the results of your submissions in your eServices mailbox. The original file will display with an appended code to the right of each line. These are the same codes used for the interactive sessions. Hopefully you see nothing but successful zeros. Again, this matching service is designed to be helpful for ACA and other payroll applications as well. Use the IRS tools to validate your employee information. Correct any typos or name changes and document the ones you are unable to correct. If you have other questions, contact the IRS or Passport at 800-969-7900. That's 800-969-7900.